Until the introduction of the C11 choline PET scanner, one of the, the greatest problems with regards to how to manage prostate cancer has been the fact that we haven't had a very good uh, technology to pinpoint the location of cancers that recur or come back after initial treatment. And according to the SEER databases, or the estimates, uh, roughly 200,000 men will fail initial treatment for prostate cancer every year. Um, historically, the way we've been able to identify location of cancer coming back has been to use uh, technologies such as CAT scan, bone scan, or MRI. But the unfortunate part of that um, uh, limitations of those technologies has been the fact that those technologies very often times cannot pinpoint site of cancer coming back until the PSA achieves a value of 20 to 30 nanograms per ml, which is a fairly large disease burden. The C11 choline PET scanner, in contrast, can pinpoint precise location of cancer coming back oftentimes when PSA achieves a value of around 2.0 nanogram per ml. So in many regards, the C11 choline PET scanner can identify the precise location of cancer coming back or coming back to life, um, sometimes months or years in advance of what conventional imaging will permit. The other advantage of the C11 choline PET scanner is that since it can identify very small cancers in their precise location, since it can demonstrate these lesions, we can target those lesions more precisely. And instead of using statistical models to guess where the cancer may be coming back, we can identify the cancer and we can t target it specifically for more complete treatment. And the ways that we target it can be surgical, through minimal invasive techniques, through delivery of radiation, um, in some circumstances, you know, through open surgery.